Welcome to Wrestling Jeopardy, the only interactive pro wrestling trivia challenge on YouTube where you're the contestant. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. And I hope you're ready to test your hardcore knowledge to live a little dangerously and take your final score to the extreme. And with that, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with Extreme Rivalries, followed by Name That Dudley, Barely Legal, and then Early ECW, which is all about Eastern Championship Wrestling, and last but certainly not least, Extreme Anagrams. Now an anagram is a name formed by rearranging the letters of another name. So for example, Alan Humpy is an anagram for Paul Heyman. Start the show. So let's kick things off with the 200 point round where you should go five for five. And if you don't, well, there's a Singapore cane shot with your name on it. Starting off with Extreme Rivalries for 200, presented as former childhood friends, these two rivals were polar opposites. One the dark brooding outcast, and the other the heart and soul of ECW. And the correct answer, who is Raven and Tommy Dreamer? And that brings us to our next 200 point category, Name That. Dudley. And of course, that's the runt of the Dudley family, little Spike Dudley. Moving on to Barely Legal for 200. This commentator made history during Barely Legal as he became the first and only announcer to call a live pay-per-view broadcast by himself. And the answer, who is Joey Styles? Oh my God! We're on to early EC dub for two. This wrestler was more or less responsible for Eastern Championship Wrestling transitioning to Extreme Championship Wrestling in 1994 after winning the NWA world title and then trashing the belt in a shocking shoot promo. One of the all-time classic moments in wrestling history, the correct answer, who is the franchise? Shane Douglas. And they can all kiss my... And let's finish up the 200-point round with extreme anagrams. Kent Furry is an anagram for this wrestler. Ah, yes, from the Double Cross Ranch, we're talking about Terry Funk. <laughs> <laughs> and let's jump back to Extreme Rivalries and kick off the 400-point round. One of ECW's most legendary rivalries was a masterclass in long-term storytelling, as Sabu and Taz were kept apart for 18 months before finally appearing face-to-face at this event in 1996. And the correct answer, boy, this was a November to remember. We're on to the next category for 400. Name that Dudley. And that would be Sign Guy Dudley. Hello there. Which brings us to Barely Legal for 400. The controversy surrounding this infamous incident led to the temporary cancellation of the inaugural pay-per-view and legal action against Jerome New Jack Young. And the correct answer here, it happened in Revere, Massachusetts. What is the mass transit incident? Moving on to early EC dub for four. In 1993, Paul Heyman took over as head of creative 
for Eastern Championship Wrestling after this previous booker slash wrestler had a falling out with the ECW owner Todd Gordon. And the correct answer, who was hot stuff? Eddie Gilbert. And just a friendly reminder, if you've been watching for the past 21 episodes, you may recall that growing up, my nickname was also Hot Stuff. Hot stuff baby, and let's close out the 400 point round with extreme anagrams. Vincent Roos is an anagram for this wrestler. And that would be the king of old school, who is Steve Carino. No! All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus a daily double and final Jeopardy. Let's kick things off with the 600 point round. The rivalry over the ECW television title between these future radicals was vital in proving that ECW wasn't just about blood and guts. It also featured tremendous professional wrestling. And the correct answer, who was Eddie Guerrero and Dean Malenko? And we're on to the next category for 600. Name that Dudley. The largest member of the Dudley family, standing six foot seven and weighing over 300 pounds, who was Big Dick Dudley? All right, and we're on to Barely Legal for 600. The first match to air live on pay-per-view saw this team defeat the Dudley boys for the ECW World Tag Team Championship. And the correct answer, who are Perry Saturn and John Cronus, also known as the Eliminators. Brings us back to early ECW for 600. At Paul Heyman's first show in charge of ECW, Ultra Clash 93, the Public Enemy debuted as a new tag team with Johnny Rotten, changing his name to Johnny Grunge, and this wrestler now becoming known as Flyboy Rocco Rock. And the correct answer, who was the Cheetah Kid? Look at this dude. And let's close out the 600 point round with extreme anagrams. Trev Sidechairs is an anagram of this wrestler. And that would be the leader of the Blue World Order. He's taking over. Who is Stevie Richards? Thank you and have a good night. Kicking off the 800 point round with extreme rivalries, rarely do two different wrestling styles mesh well together. However, this high flying rivalry between the extreme luchador and the Japanese buzzsaw was something special. And the correct answer, who is super crazy and Tajiri. On to the next category for 800. Name that Dudley. An ode to the Native American ancestors of our country. The correct answer, who was Dances with Dudley? Mira, déjame decirte una cosa. Nosotros somos los Dudley Brothers y estamos aquí en la ECW solamente para una cosa. And that brings us to Barely Legal for 800. All right, the Daily Double has arrived. Barely Legal is the category which was the first ever ECW pay-per-view back on April 13th, 1997. Think about how much you remember about Barely Legal and place your wager now. All right, time is up here is this episode's Daily Double Clue. Originally not even booked on the pay-per-view, 
Rob Van Dam replaced this injured wrestler in a match versus Lance Storm. And the correct answer, who was Chris Candido? Moving on to early EC dub for eight, this wrestler joined Eastern Championship Wrestling as a part of their ring crew and usually worked for free as long as he could have some fun bouncing around in the ring before and after shows. The ultimate underdog, the correct answer, who is Mikey Whipwreck? And let's finish up the 800 point round with extreme anagrams. Ahab solemnly is an anagram for this wrestler. He's got the biggest balls of them all. The correct answer, who was Balls Mahoney? Mahoney, Mahoney, Irish. Just like you. No. All right, 20 questions down, five to go. That brings us to the 1,000 point round. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music begins to play. Get your extreme thinking caps on because these are gonna be tough. Let's go to extreme rivalries for 1,000. The intense rivalry between Mike Awesome and Masato Tanaka ultimately culminated in one final match at the One Night Stand pay-per-view in 2005. However, their feud began in Japan when Awesome competed under this name. The rivalry between these two ring warriors began over in the now defunct Frontier Martial Arts promotion in Japan, where Awesome competed as the gladiator. I'm sick of your you're gonna die! Easy! Let's close out this category for 1,000. Name that Dudley. Known for his deep voice and strange laugh during interviews, as well as having the distinction of being the only pure Dudley, the answer, who is Dudley Dudley? Wouldn't you like to be a Dudley too? <laughs> And let's finish up Barely Legal for a thousand. The pay-per-view received a buy rate of 0.26, which is the equivalent of approximately this many purchases. The correct answer, what is approximately 60,000? And let's close out early EC dub for a thousand. Prior to becoming the hardcore icon we all know and love, the Sandman was a surfer dude, initially going by the name of Mr. Sandman, and in 1992 won his first of five ECW World Championships when he defeated this two-time Intercontinental Champion. In what could have been billed as the Battle of the Beach Bums, the Sandman defeated this two-time Intercontinental Champion from Sunset Beach in Hawaii, who was Don Morocco. And the final clue on the board from Extreme Anagrams, Anton Tyre is an anagram of this wrestler. And that would be, who is Ian Rotten? All right, don't go anywhere. It's Final Jeopardy time. Let's find out this episode's Final Jeopardy category, which is the ladies of ECW. Paul Heyman's vision of taking wrestling to the extreme was understanding his audience of 18 to 34 year old boys and their desire for edgier adult oriented content. So the mastermind of ECW began to bolster his roster with beautiful buxom butt-kicking women. All right, think about how much you remember about the ladies of ECW and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. In April of 1999, Lita 
made her ECW debut as the valet for Danny Doring and Roadkill using this name. Good luck. In April of 1999, Lita made her ECW debut as the valet for Danny Doring and Roadkill using this name. Although she would change her name to Angelica when Doring proposed to her at the July 1999 Heat Wave pay-per-view, she officially debuted as a beauty pageant contestant named Miss Congeniality. <laughs> 